story, it's all prose, not poetry. It's called Hard. I hang at the high school bike stand and look, lock my bike and then, pretending not to like my spot, unlock my bike and move it to another spot and lock it up again. I do this a couple more times to come to homeroom with her already in her seat up front so that I can be pretty much stare at her the whole homeroom period without anyone noticing. My friends, <coughs> if they find out, will razz me. So I'm careful sneaking good looks at her, like I'm putting a cape over her and drawing her to me, saying things to her that I can't even hear. After homeroom, I probably won't see her again until after lunch. That's okay. Lunch is dicey. Sitting with my friends who gawk around, crack dirty jokes, and goof off. So that means I don't see her until Latin, sixth period. She's terrible Latin. When she's asked to translate, I just die. She doesn't know anything. I doubt she cracks a book. I love Latin. I love her. If only I could save her, swoop her up in my arms, and carry her down the hall to like shop or study hall, or maybe right out of the ball field, <clears throat> murmuring Latin love words. That's why she would. That way, she wouldn't understand a word and would have to ask me what I'm saying. I would just smile, but maybe I can't carry her that far because she's bigger than I am. In Latin, when I'm called on, I try not to speak too enthusiastically. I don't want everyone thinking I'm doing it for her. I am doing it for her. I do everything for her. Have you heard of the tablet of absolute? Well, that's what the Latin teacher asked her about. She sat there. I wanted to stand up and shout Ask somebody who knows, like me, ask me. But I cowered there for her, for me, for everyone crushed by the Ablet of Absolute. We don't even have the Ablet of the case in English. The teacher is just me.